Well, it is Heart Health Month, and so we want to make sure that your ticker stays strong. Diet, of course, plays a huge role in this. And here to give us a few pointers, Michelle Litton, a registered dietitian from McLaren Macomb Nutrition Center, and Candida Grammatico, the chef from McLaren Hospital. You brought some examples of some good stuff for our heart. I just want to start with the chocolate. Is that <laughs> is that okay? Yeah. Or are you going to tell me I can't a, eat that? We brought a bunch of heart healthy. Um, high in antioxidants with us today. Obviously, we have um, we have the berries. The fresh berries are the way to go. Yes. And if you do want chocolate, dark chocolate definitely is better for you than than any other chocolate. Mm. Um, we have a, a couscous salad that we made today with fresh herbs. Yeah, this is no salt. Tell me what's in this. It's all fresh herbs. It has avocados. It has fresh basil. I did some lemon zest. If you don't have a zester at home, you can use a hand grater, which I brought over there. Okay. And this is all about adding flavor. This lemon zest, when you add it to anything, it is absolutely Smells brings amazing, out the right? yes, it brings out the really flavor and so everything. Good. All of is the that fresh basil? It's fresh basil, extra virgin olive oil, fruits and vegetables. We have um concasse tomatoes here, rosemary, really oregano, absolutely. What's the benefit of couscous? Couscous is low in fat. Um, it's it is a pasta. It is. It's not a grain. Most people think it is a grain. Yeah. It's not. It isn't. But again, it's it's healthy. More healthy for you than eating um, a dish of pasta. You know, it, it's like hearty. That's what it I is. like about exactly. it. It's very hearty. Well, the difference is, is because it is roasted. They toast it. And it has a nutty flavor. So that is definitely a different flavor in any dish that you have. It could be a, a, a main dish, a chicken. It could be a side dish. Whatever. You're looking for. All right. So, what are some misconceptions people have about heart health and cooking and not eating chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so as a registered dietitian um, inside the McLaren McComb Nutrition Center, I get a million and one misconceptions. But the most common one I hear is fat. So, typically, we, when we think about fat, we think if we eat too much fat, it can clog our arteries, it can lead to heart attack or stroke. Um, although that can be true in some situations, a small amount of our unsaturated fat can be good for our heart health. It can be good for cognitive function, our daily energy every day, and for our vitamin and mineral absorption. So what I would put a big focus on is quantity. So quantity, small amount is all you need, and then quality. So choosing your olive oils, your canola oils, avocados, um, and then even including some of those heart healthy fishes. All right, so you have a luncheon coming up? We do. The Gored for um, Women is going to be next Friday, February 15th at Ford Field. Um, McLaren is excited to partner up with the American Heart Association to raise some awareness um, and funds towards heart health. And remember, McLaren.org, um, Macomb.org, McLaren. <laughs> um, I always get that backwards. I do apologize. And um, if you guys have any questions, we do demos at the hospital all the time. There's actually a heart conscious diabetes demo tonight. So again, contact McLaren.org, Macomb. All right. We'll put that on our website, WXYZ.com.